Hi boys and girls, this is Mr. Peary here. In this video, I'll show you how to log into any computer at Sanchez Elementary with your username and password. Then I'll show you how to open Google Chrome and log into Google Chrome. This also logs you into your Google account. Then I'll show you how to join our Google Classroom with our class's secret code. Let's get started. Here is the card that each of you received with your teacher's name, with your name. Here's your username. The fourth line is your password. And the fifth and final line is your Gmail address from San Francisco Unified School District. That's right. Every student enrolled in SFUSD has their own Gmail address. Let's look at your username. Notice that your username is all lowercase letters. Also notice that it contains parts of your first, middle, and last names. Also notice there are no spaces and there are no numbers. Let's look at your password. I've blurred out Isaac's password so you can't see the whole thing. But notice every single one of you has a password that begins with a capital letter. If you look at your password carefully, you'll notice it's two words followed by two numbers. For example, Big Pete 77. You must use the capital letter for the first letter of your password, followed by the rest of the words in your password and the two numbers. There are no spaces. Let's review how to make a capital letter. You want to press the shift key down and hold it down then type the letter that you need to capitalize, then release the shift key, and the letters you type following will all be lower cased. Once again, press and hold the shift key, then type the letter to capitalize. When you release the shift key, all the letters after will be lower case letters. Let's get on the computer. First thing you want to do is put your username in the name field, like this. Remember, your username has no capital letters and it has no spaces. Now you want to click in the field below, in the password field, and enter your password. Remember, your password always starts with a capital letter. It's a compound word, or two words, followed by two numbers. Make sure to check your card for your correct username and password. Then you can either press the return or enter key on the keyboard or click this gray arrow here. If username and password combination is correct, you'll be logged into your account. If you want to double check that you're logged in properly, you should see your name up here. Or if you click on the Apple menu, you'll see how you can log out of your account and you'll see your name here. Now that you've logged into the computer, it's time to open Google Chrome. So scroll down to the bottom of your screen with your mouse and you'll see the dock. Look for the Google Chrome icon in your dock. This circle with these three colors, red, yellow, and green, with the blue center. If you don't see Google Chrome in your dock, then go to the left of the dock and click on Finder. When you're in Finder, then select Applications and then scroll through the list until you find Google Chrome. It's in alphabetical order. You want to put Google Chrome in your dock because we'll use Google Chrome every day that we go online. So putting it in the dock will make it easy to find. So just click and hold, then drag it down into your dock. And you'll notice that the icons separate to make room for the Google Chrome icon. Once you have Google Chrome in your dock, then all you have to do is click it once to open it. Once you open Google Chrome, now you'll need to sign in. At the top right hand corner of the Chrome window, you'll see a person icon. Click on it and then select sign in to Chrome. The top line is the email account. So look at the last line on your card and that's your school district Gmail account. You'll notice that it's your username then at followed by s.sfusd.edu. Then click in the next line and enter your password. 
Remember your password starts with a capital letter, is two words, followed by two numbers, then click Sign In. You'll get a confirmation that you signed in, then you can click here on OK Got It. Then click on the screen and that box will disappear. You should be on this screen of useful web tools that I've made. These are web tools that we'll use all year long so that you don't always have to type the web address. You can just click on some of these tools. The next thing I want you to do is to sign into our Google Classroom. Google Classroom is a tool we'll use all year long and I've created a separate Google Classroom for each class at Sanchez Elementary. The first step is from this page Click here on the Google Classroom icon. This will open a new tab where you can join your first Google Classroom from. In the top right hand corner, you can see that your Gmail address is displayed. This way, you know you're correctly logged in. Click the plus sign to the left. Now enter the secret code. I'll be projecting your secret code during your class so you can enter your class. Click here under Enter Class code to join, enter your class code. If you see any capital letters, make sure to make those capital letters, then click join. If you've entered the correct code, you'll be in your correct class. You can click the X to close this little box here so that I know you logged into our Google Classroom. Underneath the announcement, welcome to computer class, click where it says add class comment and add your comment then click Post, and I'll know that you successfully got into our Google Classroom. Now it's your turn. First, I want you to log into the computer. Second, log into Google Chrome. Third, join our Google Classroom. As you join our classroom, I'll see all of the names right here on this screen. Once you've joined our classroom, then you can help the person to your left or to your right. Please don't get out of your seat. Just help the person to your left and to your right if they're having trouble logging in, logging into Chrome, or joining our classroom. Remember, helping is not doing it for them, it's helping them learn how to do it themselves. Good luck, and I'll know you were successful when I see a full class list in our Google Classroom.